What's up, you hip, cool cats? What's going on? It's your cool friend Kit Kat in the house, joined with the wonderful, yeah, incredible cool. Kira, who's very cool, and she is in the house as I well. I am cool and in the house. And today, we are going to be reacting to Sauton, Soldier of Heaven, official music video. Okay. Um, I'm looking forward to reacting to this and enjoying it. And by the way, uh, folks, you know, if you... If, if if you want to be hip, cool I cats, was admiring your mug. I know, and well, thank you for talking about my face, but and, but I'm Ching. But we got to talk about there? this mug here. And no, I'm not drinking water, coffee, or tea. It's it's a nice beverage, an alcoholic beverage, folks. Urine. <laughs> <laughs> or when you get with your cotton caught with your pants down, you're in luck. You're in luck. <laughs> Anyways, no, <laughs> no, I'm drinking beer. So, but Ooh. don't drink, kids, or drive. But anyways, if you want to have some drink or drive, uh, or, or drive. <laughs> but uh, if you want to be awesome like us, uh, get this, get the awesome uh, merch, and you, you, you could be a hero like, like, like the people you watch on the interwebs. That's right. So there you go, folks. Uh, stay awesome, and let's enjoy this video. Hey, DJ, hit that <laughs> DJ. play button. Oh, I'm liking this. I like the view. I won't be coming home. I won't be going anywhere. Oh. I will go this post forever. Here on the Alpine slope, where I did my final stand, I shall remain among the ice and snow that binds me to this mountain. Nature too strong, sent from above. Where spirits lead the way, the winds will never fade. Why Friday, I'll take the stairway to heaven. From sky high, when I die, I'll be immortal forever. I never, I won't return to blood mountain. I am the soldier. <laughs> A weird song. I saw the end of war. I watched the soldiers come and go. And I kept my watch forever. So many brave men fell in the battles that were raging down below. I have seen it all, but none will hear my story. All of these years I have been. This mean anything to you? It does a little bit. A little bit? Yeah. I like it. I've uh, known two Marines that uh, passed away in service. 
in Iraq. One that I knew in SOI. The other one was in a unit that I was in. Um, but he died on a different tour. And uh, there's one thing I never want to go through again, and that's going to him through a Marine's funeral. I'll never forget the cries of the family and the somber environment that was there. Because my brothers, no matter a Marine, be they young or old, is my brother. But it's something to see because you know that they're not coming home. And I got lucky on my two tours. Everyone I knew came home. Yeah. And, you know, it's just, it's, got lucky. Like, everyone came home alive, one piece. Um, so, yeah, all of this means something. Yeah. Uh. All right, there's a lot to take away from that, especially that last scene dedicated mm -hmm. to all the unknown heroes who never came home. You know, when on my first tour in Iraq, um, I have a picture of it somewhere, but I actually took a picture of um, the tomb for the unknown soldier in Iraq. Mm -hmm. I, I think I think that's, that's what that's what it was called, and I was even I even took a picture of the parade ground before it was taken down of of the two swords. It's a pra I forget the name of it. Sorry if I forgot the name of it, but it was an it was built after the conflict between Iraq and Iran. Mm -hmm. Saddam Hussein mm -hmm. built it, and okay. I, I took pictures of that too. And yeah, hmm. yeah. So there we go. Um, I, I know that we do have a statement that we should read, but um, okay. this is about uh, what we witnessed. So, uh, high above in the Alps, close to heaven, in the most extreme circumstances, men fought and protected the borders during World War I. Soldier of Heaven tells a story of those brave soldiers who froze to death whose bodies still remain under the snow till today. Mm. Um, White Friday occurred during the Italian front of World War I in 1916 when the avalanche struck Austrian-Hungarian barracks on Mount Marmolada. I hope I said that name right. It's in Marmolada. Killing 270 soldiers. Other avalanches uh, the same day struck Italian and other Austro-Hungarian positions, killing hundreds. According to some reports, uh, both sides deliberately fired shells into the weakened snowpacks in an attempt to bury the other side. An accurate estimation of the number of casualties from White Friday avalanches is not available. Wow. Historical documents suggest at least 2,000 victims among the soldiers and a few dozen among civilians. This is the second most deadliest, uh, deadly avalanche in mm. history. The date, December 13th, marked St. Lucia, a commemorative uh, religious holiday practiced by a majority of Italian Catholics. Though the occurrence of avalanches in the uh, Dolomites Mountains took place on a Wednesday in 1916, the term White Friday was used to coin I mean, the disastrous day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well. All right, well. What I can hope for all the bodies that have been found or that have yet to be found, I wish for them utmost peace. And, uh, you're going home. 
And so, uh, yeah, I'm always happy that during my time, everyone came home. Yeah, I couldn't imagine that weight on my shoulders. And uh, I forget what movie I saw, but it was, it was, uh, it was filmed in Japan, and it uh, had to deal with the soldiers from Japan coming back from the war. Mm-hmm. And there was a scene in there where one of the soldiers was feeling very sad and depressed, like, I can't go on living. One of his comrades said to him, you have to go on for them. You have to be happy for them because they're not here. So you mm-hmm. must smile for mm-hmm. them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, wow. You know, when we reacted to the other video, you were the one. <laughs> I was crying. Now oh, this one. Yeah. I mean, I think that depending on the context and what we're going through at any particular moment in time, that's going to happen. Yeah. And it's good to let it out. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, sorry, just before we end, you know, there was, when I, when I got out, um, I forget, I think it was on ABC or CBS, I saw a video of a Marine similar to myself. Uh, unfortunately, an IED got to him. Mm. And he lost the majority of his limbs mm. and he was burnt, but he was doing a lot of great work for a fellow disabled veteran. And he was doing the same thing I did. And he was strong and he was able to put everything forward to help others like him. Mm -hmm. And I got to say, I I just hope in, in the long run that there is someday a peace in our time, I hope. Yeah. And uh it's just mm-hmm. it's 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 just difficult to really just think about how there's still aftermaths of previous wars and there are still some soldiers that have yet to come home. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah. Well this I mean, one got to me. Yeah. Y'all didn't see Nelson. I didn't cry. <laughs> I didn't cry. Who said there cry? You All right. You didn't see Nelson. <laughs> All right, folks. You take care of yourselves, okay? <laughs>